Hey guys, it's Chantel here, and today I am sharing a very different kind of video for me. Um, I, for the very first time, am kind of making like a bullet journal style reading journal for the month of November. And you'll notice when I share my November TBR coming up here really soon, that I'm doing something different this month. So I'm definitely not what I call artistic. I like to work with like mixed media and layer things. So I've got some paper that I've ripped and then I'm using this little kind of like book review stamp that I have. It's very small um, and it just has like a teeny bit of room for a little bit of information on the books that I'm reading. My goal this month is to have 12 books on my TBR. So I went ahead and I have stamped my uh, 12 stamps for my space for my books. Then at the bottom of the page there, I am stamping the word important. And what I'm going to be doing there is writing down some of the different readathons and important dates uh, for the month of November that might affect my reading, different things I want to join in, different lives I want to join, that kind of thing. I definitely made a mistake in accident. Accidentally grabbed a Q instead of an O, um, and I tried to fix it. I think it it kind of worked out. It doesn't look obviously like a cue anymore. That is what I like about mixed media is you kind of, if you make a mistake, you can always fix it somehow. 
I could have like glued another paper over top and just started right over. Um, there's just so many ways to make things work even when um, accidents have happened. I decided to go for like a kind of like fall um, plant kind of theme here. I have a variety of different like plant and uh, fern stickers and stamps that I'm using here. Um, I also have this really cool um, letter alphabet stamp that I got years ago. I really like the look of it. And I wrote down books read, but I'm actually going to be using this for my um, books that I have on my TBR. I'm curious to see how this works this month. I'm going to share about it, like I said, more when I go through my actual TBR. Um, but I'm going to write down the books that I plan on reading and then review them from there. We'll see if I can actually stick to this or if this is just a one-off uh, way that I do it. Obviously, I'm not the best stamper. Um, this got my thumb quite, quite dirty. Then I just have like a variety of little washi tape and um, these little book, uh, I guess they're just little book papers. They're not even stickers that I got um, from AliExpress. I'll try to leave anything that I can find linked below, but a lot of this I've had for quite some time.
then I just wanted to bring in the um, kind of like the plants and some of the colors that I used on the left hand side of the page I wanted to bring that over into the right hand so I kind of did very much the same kind of thing in the bottom corner there And there you have it. That's how the page turned out. Um, I'm excited to see how this works for me this month. Like I said, I, I've never really done anything like this before. Um, so we'll see if this becomes a regular thing or if this was just a one-off thing that I've tried. If you keep a bullet journal for your books, I would love to hear how you have it set up. Like always, thanks for watching guys.